Officials in the government of Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israel Prime Minister, have voiced their dismay in recent weeks over reports that Mr. Obama was planning an effective takeover of negotiations by imposing his own peace plan on the two sides. Such a step, they said, would undermine indirect peace talks brokered by the U.S. that could begin as early as next month. Mr. Obama has strenuously denied considering such an idea but observers have said it's likely that the U.S. president would have developed it as a contingency plan. Since taking office last year, Mr. Obama's efforts to broker an Israel-Palestinian peace deal have gone very badly. Trust between the two sides has all but evaporated in a row over Mr. Netanyahu's Jewish settlement policy in the West Bank and East Jerusalem. Although both the Israelis and the Palestinians have indicated their willingness to resume talks, Suspicions linger as negotiations will not be held face to face. A former Israeli diplomat close to the Obama administration said it seemed plausible that officials in Washington would consider taking matters into their own hands. Quote, an international conference involving the EU, China, and Russia is more of a recipe for chaos than a practical political blueprint, he said. But anything is better than the status quo. Fearing that it will deprive them of their ownership of the peace process, the Israeli and the Palestinian leadership are both likely to oppose a conference. The idea that you can have instant peace like instant coffee is an illusion said an Israeli official. If you enforce a time limit and then introduce an imposed solution, if they don't succeed after the period, then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy you're going to guarantee the talks won't succeed. I've said it before and I'll say it again. God does unto the nations as they do unto Israel. If the United States of America continues to try to divide the land of Israel, God is going to divide the United States of America in some way or another. The Lord is not going to ignore what is happening right now. And if and when the United States of America is in fact one of the nations that help Israel be divided, judgment will come. I believe that we're already under some judgment as it is. Imagine what can happen, or imagine what will happen rather, when the United States of America helps divide the land of Israel. Imagine what God will do then. I will curse those who curse you. The Lord is just and he's not a liar. And if he says, I will curse those who curse you, he means it. Mideast proximity peace talks to address final status issues. Israel should refrain from unilateral moves in the West Bank, East Jerusalem. That could disrupt upcoming talks, top Palestinian negotiator says. Palestinian Authority promised a boss on Monday and said indirect peace talks scheduled to begin this week with Israel will address final status issues including borders, Palestinian refugees, and Jerusalem. This is a historic opportunity before Israel if it withdraws from the Palestinian Arab lands. Adding that in exchange, under the Arab Peace Initiative, Israel would be officially recognized by Arab states. Well, what a honor. Give us all your land, give us all that you have, and we'll recognize your existence. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu intends to open the indirect talks with Palestinians Authority this week with a discussion of the security arrangement in the West Bank and water resources. I really only see two possible scenarios that could emerge from what we're seeing right now. One of them is they do sign it and we start the tribulation. The second one is another war breaks out and it puts everything back on the back burner and puts it all on hold for a little while. That's the only thing that I can see right now because otherwise I don't see any open doors, I don't see any getaway pass, I don't see nothing. If they do sign this peace deal, we know that there won't be true peace. So regardless of what does or doesn't happen, we are seeing biblical prophecy unfold before our eyes. We are seeing things that were written about thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago transpire in our newspapers, on our TV sets. This is not a joke. 
This is the end. We are living in the end days. We are seeing the signs. The signs that say when Yeshua Jesus comes back, our Creator and our Savior is on His way, preparing His people, preparing His way, fulfilling His word. He says He will not return until all is fulfilled. So He cannot return until they do a covenant with many. Prepare your hearts and build yourself up in the most holy faith, for Yeshua Jesus is coming back very soon. Don't be taken as a thief. Don't be taken off guard.